Witzehecken was founded 11 years ago by a group of really passionate parents who lived in Germantown and Mount Airy. So this group of founders really felt that if you take children and put them in nature at an early age, give them an adult who's knowledgeable about it, create moments of wonder for them, that you're going to grow a lifelong advocate for the earth. So our key part of our mission is the environment. In our whole history at Wissahickon, we have always had many more people who wanted to come than were able to come. We have between five and 600 students on our waiting list. So a few years ago, we started looking around for a space to open a second site. And when we found the site across from Arbery Arboretum, that site was just a dream come true. And we thought, hmm, here are two brownfields. And if we could turn that into an environmental good, it just seemed like an opportunity we couldn't pass up. This brownfield site is the location of the former Edwin Bennis Oil Company. Huge amounts of heating oil were stored and transported and moved through this site, and some of it spilled onto the ground. We also found levels of organic chemicals throughout the soil in the site that are at levels that are too high to be safe for children. The goal here is to make that safe, and that's what our plan will do. This project will transform this section of the community, and the community has really welcomed it with open arms. The site at different times has been a blight. We're not just redeveloping, we're revitalizing and rebuilding this community. It was an infested area. It was like a junk pile. And because of that, we had rats galore in the neighborhood. So we are so proud and happy to see that something of the past, and now we look to the future where children can run and play. The redevelopment of this site will look like the extension of the Aubrey Arboretum that's next door, with green space and a lot of open air, modern feel. The scope of the cleanup was developed in collaboration with a lot of involved parties. The Remington Group, who is the owner's rep, fostered communication early in the process with the design team, the PADP, the community, the lenders, and our company, REPSG. And we were able to develop a very innovative solution to enable us to keep green space on the site. I feel as though this project opens a door for many people in their community. What I'm trying to get created is to have a meeting with all the local small businesses in the community. I want them to be on the same page and begin to speak about things that can help them grow and stay in business. One thing that is special about Wissahickon Charter School is that if you look across the country, there are a number of schools that focus on the environment, but you don't find many schools that focus on the environment that are in a city and that serve the demographic we serve. Typically, this is a demographic that is not so involved in the environmental movement. So we feel like we're changing that and in moving to this new site, doubling the number of kids we can serve and continuing to do the environmental work both with the kids but also in the community and having that modeled, we think the opportunity for change and for growth in Philadelphia is exponential.